Hey everybody, this is Zorgi, and today I'm going to show you Minimator. It's a Minecraft animation software made by Dave Norgren. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a really cool, easy to use animation tool for if you want to do like an intro to all my videos, a little dancing animation, or um, just a cute little animation, put some music to it. Uh, this is a great, easy way to use it if you don't want to go really in depth, in depth like Blender or something. Alright, so first you gotta do is download it. Uh, if you have any trouble, ask me. I might just make a video showing how to download it, but it's wicked easy, so you probably shouldn't have any trouble with it. Um, you open it, you get this Minimator icon thing, and you just click it, it goes away. Alright, so <clears throat> now it gives you like the interface. You have your save, open, and all that jazz up here, and your tempo of how fast your animation goes, and your, you know, undo, redo, the normal tidbit stuff. Your project properties, and over here is where all of your instances. Instances are <coughs> your characters, or your items, or your scenery. Whatever you put in, that's what it's going to be in, is under this name column here. And then you have your timeline, where you have all your actions, and poses, and positions. Alright, so the very first thing I'm going to show you is how to put a character into Minecraft. Into Minecraft. Into Minimator. Um, so you hit the add button, you add character, it's that easy, alright, you've got a character to work with now. Um, I'm also going to show you how to move the camera around, if you hit your uh, left click button, you rotate around a central focal point, which right now it's on Stevie. Stevie! Um, and then if you hit your, if you hold your left click, I mean right click button, you'll pan. Alright, and then you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the focal point. And then if you hold your uh, right click and you click WASD, you can move around the world. Alright, so now I'm going to show you a simple walking animation. So you want to put your first keyframe in. Your keyframe is essentially, uh, it saves all the position and like rotations and everything where that character is right now. So right now he is saved right there. <laughs> and you go along the timeline, you put different keyframes in, and that's like the next posi position he's going to be in. And right now it's the exact same as the first one, so there's no difference. Um, so you click you click your second keyframe, and you'll see that's highlighted because it has this uh, block in it. If you click, uh, you know, see that one's highlighted and that one's not, right? And then if you want to delete it, you just click it and delete. Alright, so you highlight it, you want to go to position, you have two ways of dealing with how you want to move his position. You can either use these axes that are around him, or you could use this screen, screen grid thingy, and that will move him around, <laughs> as you can see. Um, also, this is on the XY coordinate plane, so it's like on the ground, and then this one's like, I don't know, left and right and up in the air. So... Up here, your X, Y, X, Z, Y, Z, and those will all give you different ways of moving them. I just prefer to use the axes because it's just more intuitive. Um, so I'm going to slide them forward and about that far. Alright. So now I have them changed in position. I'm going to press play up here to watch to see how the position changes. So that's pretty, pretty decent, you know, like for walking speed. Obviously he's not walking, he's sliding or hovering or whatever you want to call him. Um, so now we're going to put a walking animation in. And the cool thing about this program is it comes in with a built-in walking animation. So all you got to do is click your first keyframe, not your second one, your first one before your second keyframe. <laughs> Don't make the mistake, it could crash the software, I've done it a million times. Uh, you right click, create walking animation and it inserts all these keyframes in with all the different rotations in it. As you can see his arms are moving there and it just continues to move along the path. You hit play and you watch your animation and there he is, he's walking. Alright, so this is a quick tutorial on Minimator, how to make your character walk. If you like this video, please uh, like it or put comments in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll come out with more tutorials to show you guys how to use my animator and the ins and outs. Alright, this is Zorgi. Tune in out.